John Smallman. Saul, the remaining skeins of the illusion are turning to dust. June 6, 2013. Here in the spiritual realms, our joy at your progress on the path to full consciousness continues to intensify as we observe the increasing numbers who are turning daily to love. It is the most amazing sight. Every single day large numbers of you are renouncing any aspect of yourselves that is in any way unloving, and starting to embrace your true nature confidently and enthusiastically, and by doing so you are most effectively changing the world along with yourselves. There is no possibility of retreat from this holy path that you have collectively chosen to follow, and on which we are traveling with you to share and lighten your load. You are going through a lot of stuff, stuff that you need to release, and you are being enormously successful, as we knew you would be, simply because it is the divine will for you. And you, as you release these burdens of old, are indeed beginning to feel freer and are experiencing less discontent with your lot because awareness is growing within you that yes, you have chosen this lifetime, this human incarnation to finally and completely unload from yourselves the heavy burden that being unloving and judgmental has placed upon your groaning shoulders over many lifetimes. What a joyful and enlightened path you have now chosen. And how well it suits you. Open into acceptance of the loving embraces that are being showered upon you from the heavenly realms, like garlands of the most exotic, vibrantly hued, and blissfully scented blossoms. You are divinely blessed and your awakening is assured, because your choice to experience separation from your source was but a momentary aberration as you played with imaginary concepts that could never be realized. They were to be made from something that did not exist, something other than the infinite energy field of love. Love is all-encompassing, infinite in its expansiveness, containing all that could ever exist. There is nothing, above it, below it, beyond it, or outside it. Your contrary experience is but an empty dream, but when you conceived of it you used your enormous power to make it appear convincingly real to all those who agreed to be a part of it. The time has come to cancel that agreement and end the dream. Its only remaining purpose is that you awaken from it. Love has you all in its fond embrace, and the remaining skeins of the illusion, like the dead, autumnal tendrils of a vine or creeper, are crumbling and turning to dust. Love will hold you securely aloft as the illusion falls away, disintegrates, and is no more. You have no more need of it, you are ceasing to provide the support it needs, and so it must die, as you return to reality, the magnificent home that you presently barely remember. However, as you awaken, all will become perfectly clear because your true memories, the eternal now moment, will return in glory as you are filled with the divine light of God's infinite love for you. It will be as though you had never fallen asleep. Focus on re-entering reality. Truly you have never departed from it, even though it most definitely seems that you are far removed from it. And so when you spend time quietly, alone each day, remind yourself, I am love. That is how I was created, and that is how I remain. Because what God creates never changes. Accept the truth of this statement you have just made and open yourself to feel the love that envelopes you constantly. Doing this will uplift you, releasing your doubts and anxieties, and showing you, because of the actual experience of feeling God's love that you will undergo, that all your fears and worries are indeed groundless. Even if you are not suffering yourself, you see signs of suffering all around you, and it seems, perhaps, that you could and should be doing far more to alleviate it. Maybe you compare your seeming inadequacies in this respect with the achievements of others of whom you have read or heard, and feel at the least very uncomfortable, and maybe even as though you are wasting your life. Please release that negative self-judgment. There is no one on earth who is not precisely where they are supposed to be, perfectly positioned to be themselves doing what they planned to do before they incarnated. If you have doubts about this, as many of you do, ask for guidance when you pray or meditate, and even if it seems that you are getting no answers, know that you are making your presence on earth extremely effective just by being there and holding your loving intent. God loves all his children, and you, all without exception, are his children. He does not differentiate between you because you are all eternally equal in his sight. All that you need to do is accept the love he offers you in every moment, even if you do not feel it, and intend to share it indiscriminately. 
That is your main task, that is why you were created, and in doing that you will find eternal ecstasy as you awaken. With so very much love, Saul. Archangel Michael. Any earnest effort on your part must now meet with success. Channel by Ron Head, June 6, 2013. We wish you to know that the flow of light into this corner of your galaxy, and therefore your planet and yourselves, has once again reached an all-time high. The flow of information is, therefore also increased. What does this mean for you? As this light proceeds to flow throughout your energy field and your physical body, you will continue not begin, but continue to be enabled should you choose, to hold more and more of the energy of your true, and shall we say extended selves. Your consciousness, memories, perceptions and all functions thereof will now be able to grow at the extent of your desire. Yes, it will depend upon your desire, your will and the state from which you now begin to move forward what that will look like for each of you. But it is not necessary, if it ever was that you feel stuck any longer. The flow of the energy into and through you is now too great to allow for that unless you allow for it. Any earnest effort on your part must now meet with success. Realize however, that each of you are beginning from a different place, and each of you will have different ideas of what your goals in this process are. Eureka! You now know why there are billions of you here. Create from within yourselves the highest and best and most productive and joyous life you can imagine. Help the person next to you to do the same, whatever that may be. Be in touch, as much as you are able, and as much as you can become able with your highest understanding of yourselves and your Creator. All else will fall into place as it should, and most likely far better than your imagination was able to foretell. And speaking of your imagination that most wondrous part of you, turn it loose and see where it may take you. If it seems to you as if we are a bit more joyous than usual dear hearts, it is because we see from our vantage point, that you have once again reached a turning point, and have done so even before we expected you to. We live in your hearts, dearest ones, and we hold you in ours. We will speak with you again very soon. Good day.